Hello everyone, it's your boy Too Bad 2 and welcome back to The Walking Dead Episode 3. In the previous video, we was helping out around camp and in this video we're still helping around, around camp. Um, the main guy, he is getting like super angry at anything anyone does. One of the girls made a mistake and he threw the guy off the building because he didn't like him and it was just his head exploded. It was just crazy stuff is going on in this episode or this last, this whole thing really. So let's continue on, guys, and see what's um what's for the okay. next part. So they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion. Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. All right, let's do it. Let's deliver these nails over to the people. Yep, there hey, he is. That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Oh no, it's breaking down. See it? You know, if this was me, if this was me, I'd be killing the walkers before they get to the gate. I mean, come on. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me. You ain't force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Kenny, calm down. I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps. I just want to get the work done. And Oh no, that ain't good. Let's kill some walkers! Finally, some action! Look at their faces. I love the walkers. This is the first walkers we've seen in The Walking Dead. Oh my goodness. Let's kill the air. Come on, take him in the head. We should have whacked him a couple more times. Oh, I have to go left. I'll go left. Come on. Go. We're moving the. Left! We're going left! We're going against the wall and we're running from the walker who can't fit through this somehow. Oh no, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go! <laughs> okay, let's do this, guys. Come on. There we go. And let's just get it off of us. Okay. Oh yeah, he's dead. That's how you kill a walker with style. Blah, bring him on. Yeah, killing time! <laughs> I love killing time. Okay, one killing. Okay, I didn't even kill nothing. Wow, I'm bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Wow, I tripped over a cord. Of course. That's how you do it. Oh, I should have got. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. What do I do? Oh, then this is scary. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I'm pressing it, man. I'm pressing it. Oh my goodness, no. No. Oh my goodness, I was pressing that rapidly. Whoa. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? I mean, they really should kill those walkers. I mean, come on. It's like, look at the gate. 
Look at this. That's just messed up. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's this? Who is this? Ah, ah, stop. Hey, it's me. Luke. Yes. Luke. Man, bit the hell out of me. I think you drew blood. Come all this way. Well, let's hug him, you know. That's worried. what we get to do. We all were. No, it's good to see you too, kid. All right. Listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, it's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes. Sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know? Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any, any moment. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just, we just need a plan. You no know, way to get you and, and everyone. Luke? Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Okay, I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. Luke is back. That's awesome. That really is awesome. Huh? Answer me. I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? Oh, shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again, and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there now. So I chose the right thing, and Luke is back, and we're gonna do like this reconnaissance mission. We, we just became, guys, we just became Splinter Cell, Metal Gear Solid. We are, we are all of these guys, okay? We are like the top. We are Clementine. We are what we want to be. Today we're being a thief. We are the, we, we're Bilbo Baggins. Oh my goodness, we're the same size and everything. I knew it. One day, I knew I would play a game other than The Hobbit, and I would be Bilbo Baggins, for Madonna. sure. He probably killed him or sent him off somewhere. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Probably. Get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. 
And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I know. I have to do everything for them. It's exhausting. Of course it is. But that's the role you're meant to play. And we're more alike than you think. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. I'll help you. Whatever you need. I know I'm just a kid, but I'll do my best. Well, that's all I can ask. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. So, all right, we're heading back to the yard. Now, guys, I agreed with everything he said just because I want to try to get on this good side because I don't know how things are going to turn out. Okay, so you got to think ahead. Get on any one side you're in when you're in that said room in The Walking Dead. And it will take you everywhere. <laughs> one long day. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Well, that's nice the walkers are going away. But they call them lurkers for whatever reason. Cause we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous! Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Okay, okay, sorry. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Do they work? I've never heard them on. Actually, neither have I. They're turned off, but... It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. 
You ain't exactly a peach either. We should get the radio to Luke. It doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that. But the herd is still what's gonna get us out of here. Maybe Luke can tell us where it's hitting from. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Here we go! <laughs> it's a Mario time! Let's do this! It's Clementine time! I don't think they're the sharpest. I supposed to grab a hold of something, probably? But they're no idiots either. Man, they're just moving us up slowly. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Oh, let me grab something. Let me grab something right here. Haha, <laughs> that's Clementine for you. Oh my goodness. We're in trouble. Yeah, we're in trouble. I think we are, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> that was a lot of walkers. See guys, if this was me, if this was my group, I would be getting everyone on the roof. I would be selling off all the gates, all the entrances and stuff like that. I would um, build like a path where they can walk through in the parking lot. And I would just kill them off at a distance, you know, just boom, 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 take them out. While they're like a mile away, you can start killing them, and by the time they get to the door, there's none left. It's just that simple. But no one thinks like me. What is that? This is a game. People are not that smart. But everyone, I am ending the video right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, if you are, drop a like down below. Some inter interesting stuff has been happening. I give you that, but um... Uh, it's really getting into it now, guys. I mean, really getting into it. But um, don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for the rest of the series. And, guys, as always, this has been 2x2, and take care.